So what is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 6th tutorial for AngularJS plus PHP web application. And in this tutorial, let's just finally add some effects to our images to show to the user and probably we can just instruct the user as well to just right click and save their images if you want. And uh, yep, so let's just say I create this as a divide images as the parent and we can just say div class image here and call md3 with text center i don't think we would need that text center anyhow but we can just do that and i'm just adding this image class just in case if you would want to edit this a little bit so now as you can see we have this four images effects now what i can do is actually Bring this down to 250 and yep so using this we can simply trim down the image to 250 and not only this actually trims it, it scales it to 250 but it actually reduces the size it's not CSS it would actually serve you a 250 by 250 image thus the size would be actually reduced which is a great thing now if you take a look in the documentation and CDN you would see a lot of other effects as well here so we have this quality effect so let's just add this quality effect and see what happens so i add this quality effect right here after this and let's just say we have these qualities so we have this normal better best lighter and lightest now let's just go with the best why not to see how this looks like now you can just read about these qualities values here then we have this progressive loading and the baseline loading stuff but we would probably skip this because the image will upload would not be a lot heavy so we would not want to have any sort of loading to this then preview we are already making use of then with resize you can actually resize the image as well now the difference between preview and resizing is that preview would actually scale the image as well so if your image is actually not square and if you specify a square dimension then it would stretch it out or whatever but resize would actually resize it as well you can just try this out on any of the image right here as well or you can just upload your image as well then we have a lot of other effects as well for example the stretch and set fill and enhance we can just get this enhance effect right here and all these effects are separated by this hyphen then the effect name and then probably the value of that effect if it is there so it says us that the default value is 50 and ranges from 0 to 100 so let's just make it 200 and then finally we have some grayscale effect as well auto rotate rotate and all that stuff so let's just go with the grayscale one only for now uh, we can just do something like this and just like that and you can actually nest them as well so you can have a quality best with an enhanced hundred as well something like that with the quality best and then a grayscale so that kind of is really good if you are developing some sort of like you can actually develop a javascript api yourself for this one for example you can append the effects something like uh, um, i don't know it might look something like effects array or effects object which is an object of like preview then it has 250 cross 250 value and then quality type best and then you can just iterate over this object and relatively append every value of every effect and you can just leave the effects like for example we have grayscale as true or maybe just leave it null because it does not have any um, parameters associated with it so yeah you can just go ahead and do that if you are actually developing an application which parses the user uploaded image and shows different sort of effects but right now i'm just gonna keep it to four only to take a look and now if you finally go ahead and upload some awesome images 
and see how this looks like so we got the gallery ready and there you can see we have this original image then we have the second one as the best quality image which is this one the third one looks better which is enhance of 100 and the fourth one is uh, quality best and grayscale which is exactly what it is and we can actually inspect these qualities as well if you go to the networks tab and switch it to images we can see that in case of best it's 20.9 in case of best and 100% enhance it's 25.3 in case of grayscale it's 14 and the original image is 11 kbs only so yeah that would not matter a lot on small images like this one but if you're hosting a lot of images and a lot of other images then this kind of really eases out your process and makes it a lot more efficient to work on the code itself instead of just managing effects and images all around so yeah that's pretty much it how you would develop a very basic application with the uh, angular js and php in place and uh, using this upload gear api as well so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in some other tutorial